know it's going to be difficult for you while she's gone. I'm here 24-7 if you need me. You know how much I love those boys. Yes, I do. So, you need me to stay the night? No. Okay. I'll be back in the morning, then. Actually, Rachel, I'm not going to be needing you anymore. What? I'm sorry. You're... You're firing me? I'm going to pay you for the year and uh, make sure you find another position. I know it's tough out there. I don't understand. I'm going to be here full time. Taking care of the boys. You know, out of the nursery if I have to, but uh, that's what Kendall would have wanted. On my own. If that's what you want. I'm going to miss those guys. Okay. They're great kids. Yes, they are. I'm sorry that you and Kendall are going through this. You can call me if you change your mind. Come on. Hi. Jesse. Doesn't even know what she did. What about what you did? You know, you saved Kendall's life today. And I got Marissa shot in the process. You are the hero. I mean, if you hadn't grabbed that I gun, your instinct took over, I guess. I don't know. It was all pretty surreal to tell you the truth. Well, you're really brave. So do you know what's gonna happen to her next? We're gonna transfer her to the psychiatric ward in the hospital. She doesn't belong in the jail here. Thank you. Thank you. I was hoping you were gonna do that. I'd like to see her again. Of course. Just once the shrink is finished. What the hell happened? How is she? She's in surgery. Okay. Marion, she, uh... Marion just lost it. She, uh... She tried to shoot Kendall, and Liza pushed Kendall out of the way, and Marissa was hit instead. No. How did Marion get a gun in a courtroom? Probably some security guard who's getting fired for letting a nice lady in the back way without going through the metal detector. But what do we know about Marissa? Is she going to make it? I don't know. David's operating on David? Jake is in there, too. This damn hospital, and we can't do anything about it. No, listen. This is going to be different. We have to believe that. David. I couldn't do it. I froze up. You let her die, you son of a bitch. Marissa is not dead. Oh, thank God. But you just said you, Jake, finished the operation. You should have never been in there in the first place. I looked at Marissa's face, and I saw Lior. The pressure started dropping, and I just... I just froze. I'm gonna take you to the hospital. Well, uh, what about Stuart? Who's going to get his dinner? Mom, S S Stuart, he's, um, oh, he's... yes. Yes, he's gone. I try not to think about that, Liza, because it's so painful. <laughs> Darling, 
wondering what what am I doing here? Mom. You don't remember what you did? Well, I I, I remember I went to the courthouse to see that, that horrible woman punished. I was very angry, Liza, because they were going to let her live. And eventually they would let her out because they always let them out. And I just didn't think that was fair. It's just, it's not right. You're not right. I know, I know. And I, I'm going to take care of everything here with the police, okay? I did something very bad, didn't I? But I'm going to take care of you. Okay, you believe me, don't you? Oh, yes. Yes, I do. Oh, it's so nice having you home again, Liza. Have I told you that? Yes, Mom. It's good to be home. It's good. It's time. Okay, Mom, it's time to go. Okay. Yeah. Okay, of course. And, oh, honey, we've got to have lunch at the Yacht Club soon. Because you and I have so much to catch up on. Yeah. <laughs> I love you, Mom. Oh, honey, I love you, too. I love you, too. Okay. Mm. All right, this way, then. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. <gasps> I've done some bad things. Yes, but that's all in the past. I'm starting anew again, and, and Adam understands that. I love him, and I'm going to marry him, and I know that might be difficult Difficult. For you, but... Laughable is more like it. You're still the wrecking ball you've always been. Have you ever had a relationship you haven't trashed? Ryan, Aiden, even your own daughter? How will it be any different with my dad? Okay, I'm trying to avoid any wicked stepmother stereotypes in our relationship, Colby, but it seems you're really trying to push the issue here. Relationship? You and I have no relationship. And never will. Oh, thank God you're all right. Well? well am I right, or am I just spitting in the wind here? Yes. That's my son. Well, I'm mighty glad he's still alive, honey. And I, of course, understand why you thought you had to do this, Dr. Dave finding out and all. But, uh, it's a pretty devious plan. A devious in a good way. I mean, whose idea was it to put him in a dress? Well, you're going to give him a complex. You keep this up too long. Well, we all thought it was a pretty good plan. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Well, as I said, I don't disagree with the goes into. It's the coming out of I'm wondering about. I mean, what do the three of you have on your mind and how the devil do you expect to keep it from the evil Dr. Dave? Hey. She pulled through. I moved her up to recovery, so if you want to see her... I'd get up there. Yeah. I've been wasting so much time chasing after Amanda and our baby, not realizing that all the while Marissa was right there, right in front of me. And she's been busy trying to get the two of us back together. She doesn't realize that's a waste of time, does she? Oh, God, no. Marissa, pull through the surgery. She's going to be okay. Oh, my God. You have no idea how guilty I've been feeling. I mean, after all, I'm the one that hired her. Yeah, and it was your mother who pulled the trigger. And thanks to you, 
Instead of Kendall taking the bullet, it was my daughter. It was, it was an accident. I certainly didn't mean to hurt Marissa. Yeah, but she is hurt. And she almost died. How is Marion? She's, um... <clears throat> she's in the psychiatric ward for observation. That's great. All right, well, you got what you came for, right? So why don't you just leave? You almost cost me the only family I have left. I will never let the people in this town hurt our daughter ever again. <laughs>